Hey, greetings, and thanks for joining me on Sean's Irish Whiskey Shelf. Hey, today this is uh, episode two, and I thought maybe we should get into talking about whiskey instead of just talking about why I'm here. You all don't need to worry about why I'm here. What you're really worried about are the spirits, right? So what you have in front of you are three bottles, uh, even though there's a fourth. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, three bottles that I picked up over the past week. Uh, I don't normally get three bottles in a week, but situations presented themselves and I was able to get these three fine bottles. Uh, the first one is Iyer Gold, uh, and the second one is The Irishman, The Harvest, and the third one is Drum Shambo, Single Pot Still. So we're going to taste each one and uh, I'll give you my un unsophisticated palate uh, first impressions of them. And we'll talk a little bit about each one. So let's first talk about this one, Iyer Gold Irish Whiskey. So uh, this is made from the, uh, yeah, this is from the Hyde Distillery up in, uh, uh, in Ireland, Hyde Distillery in County Cork, in fact. Um, this is a blend. This is a single grain and single malt Irish whiskey. So uh, you're not getting a, uh, you know, a straight Irish whiskey. You're actually getting a, a blend here. And according to the manufacturer, uh, you are getting uh, a, a blend here that is 80% single grain and 20% single malt. So mostly single grain with a little bit of single malt in there. Uh, this comes in at 40% ABV, which is 80 proof. And there is no age statement on here but the distillery says that it is uh, four years old. So uh, they say that it is made with a vanilla rich blend of single grain and single malt whiskeys uh, at their distillery. Now the Hyde Distillery is probably better known for making Hyde Irish whiskey. There's a lot of Hyde Irish whiskey out there and uh, that's pretty well known. So this is uh, this is a, a different blend from them. And let's take a little sip of that. We've got a little bit of sip of, uh, of Iyer Gold. I just picked this up today. I haven't even tasted it yet. So let's see what we get here. <clears throat> Definitely can tell that there is some single malt in that. However, it's not a uh, not an overpowering uh, malt taste, seeing as it is only 80% uh, single grain and only 20% single malt. Uh, that would lend to that uh, that taste profile. So, if there's someone out there that isn't really strong on the uh, or, or you know it doesn't have a single malt preference, this might be a, a pretty good whiskey to try. Uh, the price point on this is pretty nice. Uh, I picked this up for 25 bucks right here in uh, local to me. As far as the overall whiskey taste, definitely has that Irish whiskey taste to it. Uh, it's got a little bit of that, that nice uh, Irish whiskey body and burn. Um, overall, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, they say on the back here that uh, they slowly mature it next bourbon uh, first fill uh, casks. So a white oak track, uh, casks. So, you know, in a, in a cask that's only seen bourbon one time, and then they go ahead and mature their whiskey in that. So really not a bad whiskey for 25 bucks. I, uh, I could see myself drinking that again. All right, next on the list, the Irishman. Now this is the Irishman, uh, the harvest. Now, why are there two bottles here? Well, this bottle is called the Irishman Founders Reserve. I picked this up, I wanna say maybe two, two or three years ago or so. And as you can see, I've pretty well taken care of that bottle. Uh, when I picked this up this past weekend, I thought I found something really cool. I was like, you know, I, I have never seen the Irishman in this bottle before. So maybe the Irishman is changing their bottles a little bit or uh, you know this is a different uh, a different blend from them no what you're gonna find is 
the Irishman Founders Reserve was renamed and rebranded to the Irishman The Harvest Single Malt and Single Pot. So this is also a blend. Just like Iron Gold was a blend, this is a blend. This is your single malt and single pot Irish whiskey. So uh, all they did is rebrand it. Apparently they wanted to uh, pay homage to the, uh, the farmers in Ireland and how much they mean to the business, which is why this is called The Harvest. But it is essentially the exact same blend. And I can, I can confirm that. I took a little bit of this today and compared it to this and they tasted exactly alike. There was absolutely no difference. So this is 70% single malt and 30% single pot still. So this is gonna have a little bit more, it should have a little bit more of that malted barley taste, much stronger than this would have anyway. There's no age statement on the bottle and there's no age statement on the website. So not sure how long they actually age uh, this particular whiskey. Uh, they say it's triple distilled and matured in American oak, bur American oak bourbon barrels. Um, and they say it's also crafted from a mash bill made of entirely Irish barley. So anyway, I've poured a little bit of that in this glass and we'll take a little sip of that and kind of compare it to how we have here from Iron Gold. All right, definitely have more of the malt taste, single malt taste in this one. And it's a lot smoother. This one had a lot of the, a lot of uh, whiskey burn, as some would call it. This one was much smoother. Didn't have that, uh, didn't have that, that kind of rye burn, I guess is what you might call it in bourbon whiskey. So uh, while it does have a little bit more of the single malt flavor to it, again, it's really not overpowering, I don't think. I'm not a fan of single malt. Uh, you get too much single malt taste in a whiskey and it kind of turns me off. This is actually not too bad for that. So while I would recommend this definitely for someone who doesn't like the, the single malt taste, that peaty smoky taste, this one wasn't too bad either. So I picked this up locally. Uh, this was about 55, between 55 and 60 bucks. So obviously a little higher price than the Iron Gold, but uh, again, not uh, not terrible. And I would say it's it's actually not bad for the price point. Okay. All right. Last but not least, Drum Shambo Single Pot Still. All right. This I can't get locally. This I had to go out of state to get. I was on a business trip and managed to swing by a liquor store and found that. I already have the Drum Shambo uh, Galana uh, 2022 edition, so I figured eh, I should probably pick up their regular edition and see what that's like. So interestingly enough, uh, Drum Shambo, this is their very first worldwide production of bourbon from the distillery called The Shed, and that uh, that distillery is more known for like their gin products, but they decided to branch out and created Drum Shambo Irish Whiskey. Uh, so this, uh, this distillery called The Shed is located in County Leitrim in Ireland. It's a very, very rural area. And uh, they've since released the Galanta editions, but this is, this is their flagship product. Uh, there's no age statement on the bottle. It is uh, reported to be five years aged. It is 86 proof, 43% ABV. And uh, this cost me about $55. Uh, one thing that's kind of interesting about it is they actually do put the, um, on the stamp on the side here. I know you're not gonna be able to see it from there, but they stamp when it was bottled. Uh, this one was bottled in January of 2022, so it's been around for a little bit. And I'm really curious to, to taste this on camera now that, you know, we've had these two. There should be no single malt taste in this at all. This is 
just a straight single pot still Irish whiskey. So let's try this and see what we've got. Very good. Definitely a uh, very good sip. On the back here, uh, they talk about, uh, they actually put, for those who, who have a really good palate, they've got the nose taste and finish right on the bottle. Um, this is definitely, it's not as smooth as the Irishman. I think the Irishman was a smoother pour than the Drum Shambo. However, uh, there's no malt taste at all in this. This is purely Irish whiskey taste right here. And for $55, which is what I paid for this, that is a very good pour of Irish whiskey. So if you can find some of this, you, you should pick it up. It is uh, definitely worth your money. I didn't mention here on the Irishman, let me go back to this for just a minute. Um, this particular whiskey, um, this is, uh, let me see here, let me check my notes. Uh, I did mention that, uh, that they don't have an age statement on here and um, this is 80 proof and 40% ABV. So that's, uh, that's your, your, your strength on here. And it comes from a distillery called Walsh Whiskey. Uh, that's, who, uh, that's who produces this in Ireland. So um, anyway, that's what I have for you this evening. Just a short, quick little blurb. Uh, I hope that you enjoy this. I would say of the three, this would have to be my favorite because it truly is a, an Irish whiskey experience. Uh, I would go second would be the Irishman, uh, the Harvest. A smoother pour, but a little bit more of that malt taste. And then uh, third, I would go with Iron Gold. Uh, of course, it's a lower price bottle and the, the quality might not be uh, quite the same as the Irishman and Drum Shambo, but it is certainly by no means uh, not worth your time. It is. This is not a bad whiskey for the price point. So three excellent bottles and you can't go wrong with any of them. So that's all I have for you tonight. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, we're gonna do a blind taste test on the next run. It'll be a few days before we do that. But in the meantime, enjoy your Irish whiskey, stay safe, and be well. Thank you.